Hi folks and how are you doing? I'm Emma Ryder, psychic medium and divine channeler and this is the Angel Weekly Guidance from the 24th of February, I've had to write it down because I keep forgetting, to the 3rd of March. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading, so the energy, all of it might resonate with you or different parts might resonate with you, okay? So please just take the bits that resonate with you. Um, so the first thing I am feeling from the angels right now is there's an overwhelming energy just come right in as I've started and it feels like they're pushing you out of your comfort zone and it's really important when you get those ideas and inspirations and stuff you've been putting off I want to push you forward and make you do them even if it's only a little bit but action in the right direction pushing yourself forwards they're giving you a right good shove in the right direction so you really need to help them by backing it up with a little bit of action okay this will make shifts for you and move things forward where you've been feeling a bit stuck because the, the putting it off brings up a resistance because you're bringing doubt in. And when the doubt's coming in, that is because of crap what's happened in the past and situations and like sort of limiting beliefs and what people have said to you in the past like oh well you're not good enough you're not worthy the angels want to tell you that you are worthy you are deserving and you can do it okay if you are struggling to overcome those energies and thoughts and limiting beliefs they would advise you they're urging you to revisit the past when you feel that those started what situations made you feel like that and just do a bit of processing maybe write them down and then ask yourself if they're true and then move forward knowing that you are worthy and deserving and more than capable because there's a massive shove to get shit done this week okay that that's putting it bluntly okay so it's going to be a busy week of moving forward and getting stuff done and it feels really important along those lines is to stay in your truth, be true to you, be true to your heart, know that all the actions that you're doing, what you're feeling is true to you because what you want and where you're heading is really important. There's, um, for some of you, there's going to be in outside influences, I want to say, coming in and trying to change bits and pieces for you. Um, and sort of be like, oh, well, no, you shouldn't be doing that. You should be doing this. This would work better. That's fine to listen to their opinions. But if it does not sit right with you, do not listen to it. Do not take action. Listen to your heart, know your truth and know you are okay to not follow what everybody is saying around you, okay? Because it is your heart and your soul, your soul speaks through your heart, which knows your truth and actually the true situation and where you're heading, okay? Because the angels communicate with your soul on a soul level, your soul speaks through your heart. So take the time. Even if you need to take an hour just to be, to connect with your heart, if you're unsure of where you're heading, ask the angels to help you when you're unsure. They will want to oblige. They will oblige. They will always give you guidance and help. They are there for you, okay? If you're, the angels can come in with guidance through music, angel numbers. There's all sorts of ways that the angels can communicate with you. And if you want more information on how the angels can help you in communicating with them i am doing an angel masterclass tomorrow night so please look on my website the rainbow of light.com on the workshops page because there's details there because the angels can change your life let them let them guide you let them help you they don't want you to feel unsure they don't want you to feel like oh i can't do that because they want to help you and give you the confirmation and the 
I'm doing this, that knowing feeling, they will help you. So let them help you, okay? Because they're just waiting to be asked. They're around you all the time. They will keep, they will help you as much as you ask them, okay? The important thing is to remember to ask them. And it also feels with being true to yourself and putting in actions into place, and taking the time if you need to listen to your heart. Um, it's going to be quite a fast paced week. I want to say to you, don't forget about your needs. Your needs are important. You need to keep yourself on best form. So make sure if you're tired, you rest. If you're hungry, eat. Try to eat properly. Try to drink plenty of fluids. The general needs must be met to keep you in the best energy space possible. And that will make things feel so much easier because if you get totally exhausted and drained and you're hungry, which adds to the tiredness, um, everything can feel harder, everything can feel more difficult. So please do show yourself some self-love by looking after you because you are your number one. And if you don't give yourself that love and support, you're not showing the world that you will accept it from anybody else and that can put energy blocks in keeping other stuff at bay and stopping the natural flow of energy of all things coming to you so do make sure you look after yourself as well as mixing in with all this fast-paced energy this week before you know it it's going to be this time next weekend again already um i hope you have a fabulous week thank you very much for joining me it is so much appreciated I'm really grateful for all my subscribers. If you want updates of when the next videos come live, please subscribe to the channel and a like on the video is much appreciated. I'm uploading this video now. If you would like, um, the Twin Flame and Romance one will follow, okay? If you want a more in-depth reading, personal reading, please visit therainbowoflight.com and all the services I offer are on there. Have a fabulous week, folks. Take care, bye.